Hello friends, in this video, I want to show you how to work with the generative fill feature of Adobe Firefly Artificial Intelligence and how to use it to edit a photo. The generative fill feature is now available in Photoshop as well, but through the Adobe Firefly Artificial Intelligence website, we have free access to it. So first, we'll go to the Adobe Firefly Artificial Intelligence website. To start, we'll create a free account on the Firefly website and log in. After logging in, will have access to the features of Adobe Firefly Artificial Intelligence. As you can see, the generative fill feature is here. We'll click on the generate button to enter and utilize its capabilities. By uploading a photo, the capabilities of generative fill become available to us. To do this, I click on the upload image button. I select the desired image from my computer and after it's loaded, we'll be directed to the dedicated generative fill page. How do we remove various items from a photo using generative fill? For instance, in this image, I intend to remove the headphones. To achieve this, I begin by selecting remove from the left side of the page. Then, I adjust the size and feather of the brush according to the dimensions of the item using these options. Next, I drag the brush over the desired item. In this case, the headphones, to completely cover and select it. I then click the remove button. As you can see, the headphones are removed and I have four different images, each with a thumbnail, at my disposal for review and selection. If I'm not satisfied with these images, I intend to use the more option from Adobe Firefly to generate new images for me. I'll review the new images. And using the keep button, I'll finalize the desired image. How can we change the hairstyle in a photo? I start by selecting the insert brush from the menu on the left side. After that, in the settings section, I adjust the brush size and feather to match the character's hair. Now, I use the brush to fully cover and select the character's hair. The subtract option can be used to remove inadvertently selected areas from the selection. Following that, using the Add option, I can add to the selected areas. Next, in the text box, I need to input the new hairstyle as a prompt and then click the Generate button. Four new generated images appear. I review them and since I'm not satisfied with these hairstyle models, I choose the More option and Firefly generates new images. Clicking on the four thumbnails, I review the images. However, this time I cancel the process. Now, by dragging the brush, I expand the selection area. I am now clicking the generate button. New images are being generated. I review the images and choose the fourth one. To finalize it, I use the keep button. How can we use generative fill to change the character's outfit in images? For this purpose, in the brush setting section, I adjust the size and feather of the brush. Now. I select the character's outfit area and completely cover it with the brush. Afterward, in the text box, I input the style and type of the new outfit as a prompt. If needed, I refine the selection area. And now, I click on the generate option. New outfit images are generated, and I review them. I choose one of them and use the keep button to apply and finalize this outfit. How can we use generative fill to tattoo on hands? For this purpose, in the brush setting section, I adjust the size and feather of the brush to match the hand size. Starting with the right hand, I cover the entire hand area using the brush. Now I input the tattoo prompt in the text box. Then I click on the generate option. New tattoo images are generated, and I review them. I choose one of them and use the Keep button to apply and finalize this tattoo. Now, I move on to the left hand in the image, and I cover the entire hand area using the brush. It's time to input the tattoo prompt in the text box. And now, I click the Generate button. New tattoo images are generated, and I review them. I choose one of them and use the Keep button to apply it, and finalize the tattoo on the left hand. How can we use Adobe Firefly's artificial intelligence to add a health gadget like a watch or a wristband to a hand? 
For this purpose, in the brush setting section, I adjust the size and feather of the brush to match the hand size. Starting with the right hand, I begin by selecting the area where I want to add the gadget using the brush. I cover that area with the brush. Now, I input the gadget prompt in the text box. You can even input the name of the desired watch or wristband. And now, I click on the Generate option. I'll review the new images. I found it necessary to enlarge the selection area slightly. Additionally, I want to specify the color of the gadget in the prompt. And now, I click on the Generate option. I'll review the new images. I choose one of the generated images and use the Keep button to apply and finalize this gadget. How can we use Generative Fill to add glasses to the character's face? For this purpose, in the Brush Settings section, I adjust the size and feather of the brush to match the character's face size. Then I select the area where we want the glasses to be added using the brush, and I cover that area. Next, I input a prompt for the glasses in the text box. And now, I click on the Generate button. The images are generated, but they are not satisfactory after reviewing them. I cancel the process. I enlarge the selection area. And now, I click on the Generate option again. I use the Keep button to apply and finalize the glasses. How can we use Generative Fill to change the eye color of a character? We select the area of the character's eyes and cover it with the brush. We input the desired eye color as a prompt in the text box. And now, we click on the Generate button. After reviewing the new images and finding them unsatisfactory, we click the More button. New images are generated. We select one of them and use the Keep button to apply and finalize the new eye color. I'm about to use Generative Fill to add a ring to a finger. For this purpose, in the Brush Settings section, I adjust the size and feather of the brush to match the finger's size. Now, I select the finger and the area where the ring will be placed and cover it with the brush. With the Subtract option, we can exclude certain areas from the selection. And with the Add option, we can expand the selected areas. Next, in the text box, I input the type and color of the ring as a prompt, and then I click the Generate button. The ring images have been generated. I'm reviewing them. I select one and use the Keep option to finalize and apply it. How can we use Generative Fill to remove the background of images and add a custom background? To achieve this, I click on the Background option. Adobe Firefly AI has good capabilities in removing image backgrounds. The background has been removed. Now, in the text box, I input information for the new background as a prompt. I click the Generate button. New images are generated. I review the new images but they are not satisfactory. I click on the More option to generate additional new images. New images are generated again. I review the new background images. I select one of the backgrounds, and with the Keep option, I apply and finalize it. On the top right of the page, there's a Download button that allows us to download and save the image by clicking on it. In this tutorial, you became familiar with the capabilities of Generative Fill for editing photos in a practical project. New tutorials on the topic of artificial intelligence are on the way and will soon be uploaded to my channel. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on new tutorials. I'll see you in the next video.